بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب زدنا علما ورزقنا فهما وجعلنا من الراشدين ببركة إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم في العالمين انك حميد مجيد الحمد لله وشكر الله وثنك الله سبحانه وتعالى for giving us this opportunity to talk about this topic that um, is is very much you know the essence at the moment with a lot of people talking about this and the sorts of clients that i see on a regular basis this is something that comes up quite often for us and in that we need to understand that what exactly is going on okay and i think in 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 recent times there's been a lot of talk with regards to um the need to seek validation now what does that really mean and when we try to understand that a little bit what does seeking validation mean it's it's really about people pleasing it's really about getting yourself across in such a way whereby you feel good about yourself okay and and this usually happens and we do this everywhere okay consciously and sometimes subconsciously whereby we are trying to please our parents okay that's where it really starts from and then we are trying to please our children we try to please our spouse we try to please our work colleagues we try to please our friend circle our extended family circle and wherever we go whatever we do consistently there is this need of seeking validation we need that pat on the back well done good boy good girl good you should have done oh well done for doing this and it's ajeeb subhanallah how where does this problem actually come from whose validation do we seek whose validation are we not seeking and for a lot of people a lot of the time it's all about seeking that 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 um that uh, appreciation okay now what i find with a lot of people going through this and and i know i go through it at times as well um and it's all about behaviors that we have learned from childhood and those behaviors from childhood really have been things like when parents have set expectations for you okay and we still do it till this day i know with my own children as well i set expectations and if expectations are not met then i'm not happy about it and then i i make it very you know sort of known that you know you haven't done this and you were supposed to have read your salah by then and you should have done you know you should have had your shower by now and got ready for school or you know you should be studying for your test and so there is these expectations and the children normally don't get um appreciation they don't get that validation they don't they don't get that um well done sticker okay or that well done acceptance from us as parents because we are just waiting for them to see where they fall short and then tell them off for that and so reflecting back on ourselves we need to also understand that where has my habit for seeking validation come from and in most cases you will find that it is usually through a tough upbringing okay where you know you've been disciplined in a in a in a very sort of uh, military style you know fashion of parenting whereby everything has to be done or else and in that instance subhanallah you're always chasing validation and usually whose validation do we seek the most it's usually the fathers okay after the father is the mother's validation and if the father's validation is not there then what ultimately is going to happen is that we seek that validation elsewhere and we will seek it in school we'll seek it from our ustads in madrasa we will seek it from everywhere else and what generally tends to happen is everyone else will tell us mashallah you're doing really well you're really good you're excellent at this you're you know brilliant at sports you're brilliant at drawing you're brilliant at all of these things but the place where you're seeking that validation from which might be someone very close to you i.e. your mom or your dad you don't get that and so you get stuck in this cycle that you're yearning something from one place but you're getting it from somewhere else and subhanallah the whole world can tell you the whole world can tell you that you are amazing the whole world can tell you that you know what this is bloody fantastic right but 
until your parents don't give you that love, until your parents don't give you that validation, there will always be a hole within yourself. So that's an issue, okay? Now that is an issue for many people, is that for a lot of us seeking validation, our parents might still not be alive, okay? They, our, our culture is such, Nauzubillah, okay? That parents are not able to express that emotion, to express that sense of love and commitment. And, and you see this, and you know, there's a lot of memes and little cartoons made of how, you know, uh, the white parents will be towards their children and the brown parents are towards their children. And we can't express that love, okay? And so we need to really force ourselves. We need to force ourselves of what is it that we need to do in order to get across to our children, okay? Because ultimately what's happening is we are already the damaged product. Okay, but in this damage, we are damaging the next generation. And so we find that even within the young children, they're consistently seeking validation. They're seeking that, that uh, you know, well done and the shabash and pat on the back to say, yeah, go on, good, you've done it. So this is where we really need to start pulling back. We need to really start understand. For those of you that can't get that validation from parents or from whoever it is that you're seeking, the main crux of it is what? The main crux of it is self-love, self-appreciation. And we need to really get to that point where we start to understand that, you know what? It's fine seeking, um, you know, validation, whether, uh, you know, from your uh, peer buys and all the rest of it. But ultimately what it's going to happen is it, it needs to be self-love. We need to understand within ourselves, what is it and what, what have I got within me that I am contributing? And unfortunately, what tends to happen is we spend our whole lives seeking validation from people, okay? And the same thing happens on, on social media. I get likes, I get validated. I get likes, I get validated. Someone puts a silly comment, I get upset. Again, that shows that, you know what, there's still a lot of inner work needs to be done. So within it, we need to identify what part of me is missing, what part needs to be filled and fulfilled. And so when we get to that point, and this subhanAllah, is something that you know I deliver on the deep trauma masterclass, okay? And in that, what we are identifying is identifying the gaps, identifying where that lack is, where that loss is, and then removing that emotion connected to it, and then replacing it with self-love. Because when you start to appreciate yourself for yourself, when you start doing the tasks and you know all the responsibilities you have for yourself, to fulfill your responsibility, your rights, then automatically you do not, and you no longer need to seek the validation of others around us. And so please, I invite you, one, to look at yourselves, look at your life and see whose validation are you seeking. And for most people, okay, and, and this is a term that's used quite in a derogatory manner, but it's extremely true, okay? And it's usually referred to as daddy problems, okay? Daddy problems. And subhanAllah, I find, okay, I'm just generalizing here, so don't quote me on this, but generally I find that women that get stuck in narcissistic relationships, okay, and are stuck, I'm saying stuck, generally tend to have these daddy issues, okay? Because either the her father was a narcissist or her mother was the victim in it, or she was consistently seeking the validation of her father. And so when you look again towards marriage, you usually end up attracting that particular type of individual and character. So this is my own understanding of, of this problem. So don't uh, come shooting me down. But over the last 10 years, while I've been working with my clients, these are general trends that I'm seeing. And so seeking this validation is extremely important that we break it because from seeking validation comes imposter syndrome. Because when you start to go out and you start to stand up for yourself, the next thing that kicks you and, and, and you know, tries to cut your legs off is the imposter syndrome. Am I really worth um, and am I really you know, up to that level that I can actually talk about this subject, that I can deliver at this subject? And so that also then becomes another obstacle. So inshallah, starting on the 29th of March, um, we have the Deep Trauma Release Masterclass coming up. If you want to know more about it, then please, inshallah, get in touch, okay? There is so much that we have within us as individuals that we need to correct, that we need to process, that we need to release and replace, okay? And until we don't appreciate ourselves for ourselves, 
we are not going to move up, okay? We will continue to live a life that has been traumatized and we'll also continue to traumatize our children and pass this problem into future generations. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us and grant us goodness, khair and barakah and allow us inshallah to overcome these issues that are, are playing in our heads and in our hearts. And may Allah give us tawfiq inshallah. If you have any questions about this topic, then please inshallah get in touch. Happy to discuss with you and please share this with people that you know that are also struggling with a similar issue. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.